Hello, everyone. We're going to continue talking about World War II today. Where we left off, Japan bombed Pearl Harbor in Hawaii, <clears throat> and the United States declared war on Japan the very next day, and Hitler and Germany had an agreement with Japan, so Germany declared war on the United States as well. So the U.S. is officially in World War II now. And what's going to happen is the United States, which is right here, they're going to have to fight on two different fronts. One is called the European Front, which is over here uh, along the Atlantic Ocean. This is where Germany and Hitler are, Italy and Mussolini. But they also have to fight Japan, which is going to be called the Pacific Theater. And what the United States is going to do is they're going to fight Hitler first. And the motto they come up with is defeat Hitler first. Uh, they want to defeat Hitler before they start fighting Japan. <clears throat> so here are some of the political leaders of the European theater. And for the allies, the political leaders were Franklin Delano Roosevelt. He was the president. Uh, he dies near the end of the war. Then Harry Truman becomes president. This is Harry Truman right here. Uh, for Great Britain, uh, which is England, uh, Winston Churchill is the leader. And for the Soviet Union, Joseph Stalin is the leader. And some of the military, military leaders of the European theater, and for the Allies, it was General D Dwight D. Eisenhower and General George C. Patton. They're both from America. Now, some of the political leaders of the European theater. For Germany, it was Adolf Hitler. And then for, it, for Italy, it's Benito Mussolini. And he is, both of these guys are for the Axis powers. Japan's also an Axis power, but this is just the European theater. Japan's on the Pacific theater. So the Allied strategy in the European theater. America and its allies, Britain and the Soviet Union, followed a defeat Hitler first strategy. So they are not worried about Japan right now. They just want to defeat Hitler first. And most American resources were targeted for Europe. And the United States didn't want to fight Japan until it defeated Germany first. In the Axis strategy, uh, Germany hoped to defeat the Soviet Union quickly. They wanted to gain control of Soviet oil fields and force Britain out of the war through a bombing campaign and submarine warfare before America's industrial military strength could turn the tide. So Germany essentially wanted to defeat the Soviet Union and Britain before the United States got involved. So the Soviet Germany wanted Soviet Union's oil because uh, oil is very important for war. And if you remember last class, we talked about the Battle of Britain. Uh, Germany was just bombing uh, England day by day, every single day. Some of the major battles of the European theater. First one is the Battle of Stalingrad. This is known as the turning point of the war in Eastern Europe. This is where the Soviet Union really starts pushing Germany out. Germany starts losing on the Eastern European front of the Battle of Stalingrad. And the Normandy landings on beaches in France, it's usually known as D-Day. So if you see D-Day, that means when uh, the Allies landed in Normandy in France. France was taken over by Germany at this time. And it says it's the liberation of France from Nazi Germany. And Germany starts losing the war after this battle, and the liberation of Europe begins. Liberation means to be free. <clears throat> so France is free after this, because uh, France was under German control. And then um, Europe begins to be free, because Germany controlled most of Europe at this time. And the last battle is the Battle of the Bulge. And Germany is defeated, leaving them unable to defend themselves. So Germany loses the war after the Battle of the Bulge. So now that Hitler is defeated and Germany is defeated, the U.S. is going to focus on the Pacific Theater, which is Japan. So following Pearl Harbor, Japan invaded the Philippines and Indonesia and planned to invade both Australia and Hawaii. So not only did Japan attack Pearl Harbor, they also invaded the Philippines, which uh, you guys remember um, the U.S. acquired from the Spanish-American War. And they also took over Indonesia 
and they plan to take over Australian Hawaii. Japan's leaders hoped that America would accept Japanese predominance in Southeast Asia and the Pacific rather than conduct a bloody and costly war to reverse Japanese gains. So after defeating Germany and Europe, the U.S. began to focus on Japan and the Pacific. And in the Pacific, the American military strategy called for an island hopping campaign. So it's called island hopping. Remember, Japan's an island. And the U.S. was just going from island to island to island, trying to get closer to Japan. So the U.S. would seize islands closer to Japan and use them as bases for air attacks on Japan. And the U.S. would also cut off Japanese supplies through submarine warfare against Japanese shipping. So since Japan's an island, uh, we had a lot of submarines around there, and we tried to cut off Japanese shipping. So nothing could go onto the island, nothing can leave the island. And this is an example of island hopping. So the U.S. starting in Pearl Harbor, uh, Hawaii, they're going from island to island to island to island to island, and they're just trying to get closer and closer to Japan. And some of the key leaders of the Pacific Theater for the United States of America, it was General Douglas MacArthur, and for Japan, it was Emperor Hirohito and Hideki Tojo. And some of the major battles in the Pacific Theater, uh, the Battle of Midway, uh, Japan suffered 2,500 casualties and the U.S. had 307 casualties. This battle ended the Japanese threat to Hawaii, and a casualty is someone who was injured or killed during a war. So it could be someone that died, or it could be someone that got hurt. Uh, next is the Battle of Iwo Jima. Uh, this was a very bloody battle as Japan suffered 18,000 deaths, and the U.S. had 6,800 American deaths. Uh, the Battle of Okinawa, which was another bloody battle. And nearly 20,000 Americans died and an estimated 100,000 Japanese were killed. And Iwo Jima and Okinawa were significant because they brought the United States closer to direct attack on Japan. If we go back to the island hopping, you see this is Iwo Jima, this is Okinawa. Both of these brought the U.S. right next to Japan. So they're going to be able to attack Japan pretty soon. And there's also the bombing of Japan. So the United States was bombing Japan a lot, and an estimated 75,000 to 200,000 Japanese were killed in the bombings. So now Truman and the atomic bomb. The United States developed a type of bomb called an atomic bomb near the end of the war. Truman had to decide if the United States should continue island hopping and potentially losing millions of lives or dropping an atomic bomb on Japan. Truman decides to drop an atomic bomb in Japan as he believed it would save Americans from large casualties. So an atomic bomb is just a huge bomb. Uh, it was new at the time, and this was the first time it was ever used. And the first city we dropped it on was Hiroshima. An atomic bomb is dropped on Hiroshima on August 6, 1945. The city of Hiroshima was destroyed and over 145,000 people were killed. And although the bomb destroyed Hiroshima and killed lots of pe people, Japan still did not surrender. They were going to continue fighting. So this is Hiroshima before, and this is after. As you can see, it was completely destroyed, and it killed almost everybody there. So the U.S. drops another atomic bomb on Nagasaki, and the United States dropped another bomb on Japan, this time in the city of Nagasaki. Nagasaki was destroyed, and about 75,000 people were killed. And Japan surrenders after the atomic bomb on Nagasaki, officially ending the war. So after the second atomic bomb, uh, Japan finally surrenders, and this is the end of World War II. And this is an example of what Nagasaki looked like after the atomic bomb was dropped. And as you can see, everything was destroyed, and it killed 75,000 people. Right, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And we are finished with this part of World War II.